Hello everyone and welcome to a, another edition of the weekly Forex update. Uh, last week we had a strengthening of the US dollar. Uh, we take a look at the euro. We saw that the, the dollar gained ground against the euro uh, moving from 138 all the way down to 134.86 in a very dramatic move. And we can take a look at the 15 minute chart to see the extent of the move down. The dollar gained huge ground and has continued down and down and down against the euro. Okay, so what to look what we're looking for is to see if the dollar can break this 134 70 to 60 area of support so let me just draw the support area here so the real test is to see if the dollar can uh, close below this 134 80 level if we do get a close below this 134 80 level we could see a deeper pullback into 133 or even as far down as the 132.86 that's a possible scenario remember that we are still working with or we believe that this is a head and shoulders pattern with the left shoulder here the head down here and this being the right shoulder over here what was important was that the market took out resistance here at just above 137.60 or so and managed to close above it so what this this move down could be is a retracement of of this move upwards and it could stop maybe in the 132.80 region for then another move upwards so that is one theory of what is happening on the euro dollar another one is we could take a look at the us dollar index for clues and a weekly chart of the us dollar index will reveal that we could be in a channel environment on the us dollar index so if i draw my horizontal line there my other line here this could be forming a channel with resistance at just above 84 we see that we didn't really close for long above this level and support down at 79 so if we are in a channel environment the dollar could move all the way back up to 84 on the US dollar index which could then translate into a larger move down on the euro dollar so please bear that in mind that could be an alternate theory of what is happening I remember in trading there is no certainty so we have to keep an eye out on all possibilities and put on trades that are that that are responsible okay the other thing where currency we will look at is the British pound and we see that the British pound we had a move down that could be considered a this move up could be the retracement B and we could be on the verge of another move down in the currency pair we have A, B sorry this will be B down here pardon me this will be C here so we could be getting another move down in the in the pound another huge move down in the in the pound our auto trader clients have been short the pound for a while now and the trade is finally starting to bear to bear fruit taking a look at the daily chart 
we do need a close below 159 a daily close below 159 will open up the downside more in the pound and we could see we could see support will then come in at formal resistance about one about 157 80 or so that could be uh, support but our first our first goal for this short trade we are in is to see if the pound uh, closes below 159 that would be extremely important and that's what I'll be watching for this week okay, the other market of interest is gold and I I continue to get a lot of interest a lot of questions of what is happening in gold I realize that many of you guys are long gold whether physical gold or gold in ETFs are in the currency the XAU USD but as I I continue to maintain on the daily chart the, mo the momentum in gold is currently down we can see that there was the market entered a channel for much of, of last year was in a channel environment and then it broke down and we have been descending ever since so the market could potentially close below this 1200 level we'll have to we'll have to wait and see but if i was on the side of a market or was picking a side for this market it would be short And my view would not change until we get a decisive close above, I would say, 1450 or so in the XAU USD. So that's what we're looking for in gold. So just to recap for the coming week, we're going to see if the dollar manages to close below 134.80 uh, another possibility could be that the market rallies up and tests the 136.50 area here which could then form a a head and shoulders top the market could come up here find resistance here and come down or it could it could find support in here and continue back up so always be on the lookout for these two possibilities well that's it for this week's currency currency forecast i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions you can send me an email at beyond at and thank you for listening